In this episode, I am gonna be building a huge iceberg and inside of it, my secret base. So stay tuned to see how I spent 140 hours building the ultimate survival base in Minecraft Ultra Hardcore, and up to the vanilla's Minecraft Hardest Game Mode. I need to move on from my mom's basement. Sorry, I meant my igloo's basement and I already know what to do. I will build an iceberg and then my base. Or the opposite maybe. This seems like a nice spot. The perimeter is done. Time to get some ice cause I need to build its frame now. This is how it will expand upwards. A little pause here. Between this episode and the previous one, I built a gold farm and an enderman farm, which I used to fill two sulker boxes with enchanted pickaxes and shovels. I didn't make them an episode because, let's be honest, nobody would watch it. Let's continue with the video now. What are you doing up here? Well, it's done and it looks like a giant ice cake. Is that a skeleton trap? Time to fix the inside as well. I'm going to keep the water and turn this place into aquarium rooms later on. Now I need to get tons of concrete for the floors. I had the dupers but concrete doesn't grow on trees. Kinda like everything is inside one chunk. I need grey, light grey, black and white concrete. Chunk loader ready. Where are all these endermen going? Okay, I guess. Everything must be ready now. Time to FK. I hope all this will be enough. I need more sulker boxes to move them now. That's good enough. Now I have to turn all this powder into concrete. I will use grey concrete for the floors. Actually, I should make the elevator first. I'm gonna be using water columns for the elevator as they are the easiest to build. Wow, look at this place. I should build something here in the future. Finally, some dark oak. Another trident. Yes, that's a tradition now. The elevator is now finished. Time to prepare some glass. Now that the elevator is done, time to continue with the floor placing. I underestimated the amount of concrete I am going to need, and this is only the first floor. Mm. 
Because this is the biggest floor, I will make my storage here. Let's go back to the dark oak forest for some wood. Take a look at it cause it's never going to be the same again. Should I do my first trade? Eh, why not? And we are finally done. I don't want to see this place again for a while. It's reading time. Move away. Move! <laughs> Do you want some help, buddy? Nope. What kind of sorcery is this? They called in their support. GG, raid completed. If someone told me that I would have to buy redstone from villagers in the future, I wouldn't believe them. This is how I will place the chests of the storage system. Back here for some more cobblestone. I have collected everything needed, so it's time to start placing. I will make the item distributor here. A visit to the iron farm is always nice. I need to rename some cobblestone for the filter and get some leather for the item frames. Filling all these items will be painful. Time for some more AFK ink. Back to some real floor placing. The second floor is going to be for my villager, so I need to make a railway from my old base to the one I am currently building. This area will be for my crowded villager professions. Let's start with the cartographers. There you go, buddy. This went better than I expected. The cartographers are here. Time for the librarians. This is looking good. How is this even possible? I already hate this. I'm not even halfway through and I want to give up. After some painful experience, the librarians are here at last. Toolsmith next. I've got used to it. Clerics are the only ones remaining now. The main part of my pain is over. I will now bring the rest of the villager professions and I will be back. But first, let me chill a bit by efficacy for some colored concrete powder.
this is supposed to be a track. All the villagers are here now. I will need to make a converter and we are done for now. I will build it with black concrete to match the mood. Come here, zombie zombie. And it is done. We will revisit this floor later on for some more building. Now it's time for the third floor. I will build three double super smellers here disguised as nuclear reactors. Green energy for the win. I think it looks good considering the space I have. I will make the rest now. I will try to make those smellers as automatic as possible. Some decorations as well And we are done Time for the 4th floor where I will be making basic automatic farms First I will make bamboo farms for the super smelters I said it's going to be green energy Next up is the sugarcane farm A kelp farm? Actually let's keep the kelp farm as I messed it up Bamboo farms are working as intended A bee farm is also very important Actually, it's daytime, so let me make a small mushroom farm real quick. I will split the hives. Four of them will produce honeycombs and the other four honey. Pumpkin and melon farms form some easy emeralds. A cactus farm as well. And last, a wool farm for every possible color. I will breed them down until I have 16. I just realized. I brought white dye. Let's build the farm now. I will breed them as they are and color them later on. And the farm is ready. Actually, the whole floor is completed as I won't be adding any more farms for now. I will let you decide what I should do with the 5th floor, so be sure to leave a comment down below. In the 6th floor, I am gonna be building my personal headquarters. White concrete for the 7th floor as it's going to be the lab. Now that the lights are set, let's make another portal. Enchantment table done. Here I will display some cool stuff. Let's make the portal prettier. I am satisfied. A throne as well, just cause. Double bed even though I am alone. Chainmail is the best looking armor, no cap. Nice. Some manavilis as well. The first pickaxe and the totem to protect us. Some barrels for storage. Looks better now. Now that I'm done with this floor as well, I need to go back down and fill the storage system with items. Two hundred fourteen items filled. 
this was more time consuming than I thought. Connecting all the other floors with the storage system seems like a good idea. Look at all this go. I could look at this for hours. I will bring the skeleton horses to these corners. This isn't looking good. Here, land in the water. I will make a crystal with a hidden door so I can access the redstone. Turn that out better than I thought. Time for the ceiling. Now for the lighting. I should also add some stations. The first floor is completed. Time for the second one. Because I don't want to make my villagers feel isolated, I will turn this floor into a fake environment. This is supposed to be an all, an anvil, a potion, a fake sun that is actually functional, some clouds, trees, 2D trees as they are away from the villagers, some grass, street lamps. What? I was sure I lighted everything. Hopefully I won't be blown up again. A fitting name for a zombie converter. And the second floor is done. Time for the third. I will just name the reactors and change the lighting. Done. It's the laboratory turn. I could trap one mob each episode inside those capsules, so comment what mob should I do first. The lab is complete. Next floor I will be building a cosmetic missile pad. Not like I could make a functional one, probably. I am a really bad builder. The ninth floor will be a functional airstrip. UAV online, airstrip online. Remaking the elevators a bit. The beacon will pass through here. Funnaces here are useless. Let me bring some ender chests instead. Now that all of the upper floors are completed, it's time for the ground level and the acquire rooms. I will make four different themed acquire rooms. Yo, another bear. Give me names in the comment section. Ceiling finally completed. I need to clear the underwater part now. Here. You will stop being a nuisance now. Underwater corridors for a closer look. Another one. One more for a full co-op party. Third legs for the exotic acquire room. The way they look at me. <laughs> Using guys to fill air gaps is quite the trick. I will use blue concrete on the walls for the colder themed acquire rooms and light blue for the other ones. It's so nice that I can place the powder directly. One turtle hatched. The first biome is going to be a beast themed. Ooh, fading sound effect for the abyss. I need to add the glass now. Back here again for some mink sack farming. The scarp is done. A ship records. Time to break some glow switch for light. No, 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 no. Come in. I am not bringing more of them. All the turtles have hatched. Looks good from the glass floor. Let's release these guys as well. And done. Time for the cold ocean aquarium. I will get glow lichens for the lighting. Actually, I should get some corals now that I am here. And some fishes of course. The cold ocean is completed. Time for some more warm aquariums. The coral leaf first. 
Why is it so hard to move sea creatures? Let me add some kelp to the cold ocean real quick. Only fish cooperate. In a way. Finished finally. Time for the axolotl aquarium. A shipwreck cause why not? A small underwater cave. A small temple. A lost treasure. A ring course. And some grass. Done. I will dry the corridors now. They look good. Change the lighting here as well. I need to get action on this now and I know where I should be heading. There is a baby as well. Wait, they kill the fish? The aquarium is ready then. I want to bring some fish for them but there is no point. Now the inside is complete. For this base to be complete though, I must terraform this place into an actual iceberg. And this is going to be painful. All this time just for this. I can't give up now though, can I? This was a nice spike by Omans. The first side is actually over. It's actually finished. I need to add the details now. Powder snow for the airstrip. It is definitely impressive. A little secret entrance as well. I will hide this eventually. And boom! The project is finally complete. I wonder how much time did it take me. We are on day 777, what a lucky number. Hope this video gets like as well. I am pretty sure I started before 400 days, which means I have spent over 100 hours on this. Makes sense if you think about it. Now that this episode is coming to an end, I would really appreciate if you press the subscribe and the like buttons. It would help the channel grow and allow me to do episodes more frequently. Nonetheless, thanks for watching, don't forget to give me names for the two bears and until the next video, goodbye, take care and enjoy the rest of the tour.